Hello, people of St. Paul's and anyone who stops by to see this video. We are learning lots and trying new things each time we record. We do try to make things better for you at home. We do welcome your feedback. Some things we find are still inconsistent from one listener to the next. So please be patient with us. Sunday services and this midweek greeting and brief devotional will continue for as long as we cannot meet in person. We will send out emails to let you know when these YouTube videos are available. A couple of things for this coming Sunday, which is Easter. Tammy is putting together a craft bag for children in it will be the supplies to make streamers for the Easter service, for the processional part at the beginning. If you wish, you can pick these bags up when you come to the Good Friday drive through Stations of the Cross. They will also be available in the bin, outside of the back double doors after Friday. Any of you who are young at heart are welcome to make something bright and colorful to use for our Easter processional as well. About the Good Friday drive through Way of the Cross, these are the rules set out by the government for COVID-19. You will need to stay in your vehicles at all times, and you may only open your windows one third of the way down. Please make sure you use the restrooms before you come as we cannot allow access to the church building. Also, please note that this drive through opportunity is for this special event only. The stations will be set out in our parking lot and will be well marked. I expect it will be slow moving as people take some time at each station to view the images, to reflect on the story, and the questions and the brief prayer at the end. Also, I have learned that all the Anglican churches and the ELCIC Lutheran churches will ring their bells on Easter Sunday at nine o'clock in whichever time zone we find ourselves in. So I plan to do that for us here on Easter Sunday at 9 a.m. For this evening's meditation, I will be reading two Psalms, Psalm 22 and Psalm 88, if you wish to follow along. I also wish to thank Tammy, Brad, and Linda for their help with the stripping of the altar and our worship space, as we generally do at the end of our Monday Thursday service. So let us pause for a moment as we prepare our hearts and minds for worship. Scorned by others 
and despised by the people. All who see me mock at me. They make mouths at me. They shake their heads. Commit your cause to the Lord. Let him deliver. Let him rescue the one in whom he delights. Yet it was you who took me from the womb. You kept me safe on my mother's breast. On you I was cast from my birth. And since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. Many, many bulls encircle me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me, like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. My mouth is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death, for dogs are all around me, a company of evil doers encircles me. My hands and feet have shriveled. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among themselves. And for my clothing, they cast lots. But you, O oh Lord, do not be far away. O oh, my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion, from the horns of the wild oxen. You have rescued me. I will tell of your name to my brothers and sisters. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel. For he did not despise or abhor the affliction of the afflicted. He did not hide his face from me but heard when I cried to him. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will pay before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall worship before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. To him indeed shall all who sleep in the earth bow down. Before him shall bow all who go down to the dust, and I shall live for him. Posterity will serve him. Future generations will be told about the Lord and proclaim his deliverance to a people yet unborn, saying that he has done it. 
Psalm 88. O Lord, God of my salvation, when at night I cry out in your presence, let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry, for my soul is full of troubles and my life draws near to Sheol. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I am like those who have no help, like those forsaken among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, like those whom you remember no more, for they are cut off from your hand. You have put me in the depths of the pit, in the regions dark and deep. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you overwhelm me with all your ways. You have caused my companions to shun me. You have made me a thing of horror to them. I am shut in so that I cannot escape. My eye grows dim through sorrow. Every day I call on you, O Lord. I spread out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Do the shades rise up to praise you? Is your steadfast love declared in the grave? Are your faithfulness in abandon? Are your wonders known in the darkness? Or your saving help in the land of forgetfulness? But I, O oh Lord, cry out to you. In the morning my prayer comes before you. O oh Lord, why do you cast me off? Why do you hide your face from me? Wretched and close to death from my youth up, I suffer your terrors. I am desperate. Your wrath has swept over me. Your dread assaults destroy me. They surround me like a flood all day long. From all sides they close in on me. You have caused friend and neighbor to shun me. My companions are in darkness. <laughs>